Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Dominion's 5 Multiplayer Showdown, Episode 18, Turn 18 with our series here. And we've got a list of things to go through here, starting with a message from Dwarf Comics. So we finally heard from him. You guys may remember that a couple episodes prior, we had sent a message, or I guess two or three episodes prior, two episodes prior. We had sent a message to Dwarf Comic, basically letting him know that we were also waging war with Satis, because we saw that those two were waging war, and we kind of wanted to... Give him a heads up so maybe it would change the way he thinks strategically about how he places his forces now that he knows that Nukriam's going to have half of his forces dedicated to a war effort in the south. So we can see here, he says, a small green crow enters with a message that reads, it is good to see your efforts. Their main force are within my lands and you shall have an easier time, I would imagine. Destroy them. So... Uh, he says his main, their main force is in his lands, but we have scouts everywhere, so we know that that's not actually uh, particularly true. And I don't think Dwarf Comics exactly lying, obviously. I think he just might not know uh, that they have a very large force right outside our border. But hopefully uh, Dwarf Comic and him are fighting. We can see that there's a battle right here, so we'll go ahead and watch that. We found a magic site, which was the Sparkling Fields. That might be... Well, I'm not sure what that is. Do you know what that is? Uh, I, no. Hmm. Because I think it's an air scythe, but I'm not sure. Bishop's Droop. Then we had a battle in Night Spring Sea. This should have been our underwater battle. Yep, our first one. And this was the one we were really excited about. Let's see what we're up against. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, this... <laughs> that's this a problem. <laughs> we should make short work of these guys. There we go. Got a blessing in there. And there's the next blessing. And... The poison's gonna be what does the work here. Oh, they already routed. That was quick. All, all the, the fear effects <laughs> seem to have worked very well. Yeah, wow. They they were instantly routed. Are you, yeah. Wow, yeah, look at that. Morale shattered. Beautiful. Oh, we didn't even have any... We didn't even have any work there. I mean, we literally just, like, walked uh, yeah. in. I like, kicked the front uh. door open, just took that with, like, <laughs> no effort whatsoever. Okay, this is important. This is a really important battle. Ah, this is right where we had our scout. Okay, so we've got Pangea forces over here. Got some Centaur Cataphract. Very good. He's got his Minotaur and... Yeah, okay. And yeah, it, what is he commanding him with? What's this unit here? I don't know if I see. It's a, just a commander type okay. of the, the Cataphracts. <laughs> no magic wielders, really. Yeah, that's... Or none at all, actually. It's surprising. Because these guys don't have anything. No, they're just yeah. trample. And What's he fighting? Oh, he should win that. Yeah, well, the Falconeers are going to be the hardest. The Shamblers. Yeah. And these light infantry are just going to get shredded. They're, they also have a few magic users, but I don't think, don't think it's enough. The animate dead might be like protection of the grave. What's that give them? I'm not actually sure. Protection of it, the grave. Does it make it so they can't be like uh, purified off the field? Uh, it might be the magic resistance. Oh, he's gonna flank. He's gonna try to flank with this. Yeah. He'll he'll chew through that heavy infantry. Yeah, he's going right for a commander flank. Yeah, that's nice. Met by the Falconeers, but it, it ties up yeah. these units so these guys can get another charge in. Seems like the Cataphracts are pretty good against the Falconeers. Yeah, they seem to be doing some good damage. Those Falconeers can't really seem... They're, they're not really getting through them. No. Now, this is a problem. He's got a, he's got a nice little surrounding there. And the, the, if these guys get to those magic casters, he's in trouble. He's going to lose these guys. Weaker units are already routed. I want to see him lose yeah. his magic. I want to see him lose this guy, but I think he's going to get away. Tomb Priest. He's just a priest. He's just a level 2 priest. Reanimator Priest. Yeah. Huh, that's kind of cool. I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah. Is that fairly new? No, I think it actually existed in uh, 
in the minions fall to. Okay. He might lose this guy. Yeah, it's in flag. Yeah. That, that's also one thing about uh, fighting Pantia, that their forces are pretty pretty fast, so they they, they, they tend to kill some you know, more on the under the, under the retreat. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. That was really good. So he won that battle. I want to see here. Casualties. So four of his cataphracts, two Minotaur yeah. soldiers. That's not bad. No. Nope. He took twenty falconeers to the grave. Uh -uh. <clears throat> so that's I mean that's 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 a I think it's a way larger hit on Nucrium than Pangea in Agreed. terms of losing yeah. twenty falconeers. It it is. The Falconeers are not, I'm assuming they're not too cheap in terms of gold and supply. Not as expensive as Cataphracts, but definitely not cheap. Oh, no, yeah. No, they're not cheap. I think. Okay, this was one of our battles. I think it was the Swamp Province. Yeah. So, I th we were pretty confident we could take this. Yeah. This shouldn't be a problem. There, right, we got our blessings in. We sent the Hydras up. Cataphracts were going to try to flank. I think. No, I think we put them all on attack closest to, to prevent uh, the Hydras from getting surrounded. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Here, here they go. That was actually perfect. Yeah. Because these guys were going to bleed around and get to the commanders. They actually got in there and closed that gap. And that Pegasus stopped those guys from coming around. They were routing them. Exactly. Seems like we're, we're doing it with no losses. Uh, on this, our Pegasus get... No, no they are blessed, so they can't get poisoned. Yeah, they're blessed, so they're, 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 yeah. they're going to be... They got some nice poison resistance. Yep, yeah, so we routed those guys, took that province back. Wait, did that Pegasus have... 25 poison resistance? Yep. Ah, uh, it must have been uh, one of our casters must have cast the... the, the yeah, he's got that, 15. Uh, that, that spell uh, uh, that gives poison resistance. Yeah, prepares to cast poison resistance. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm good with that. Yeah. Helps the Pegasus out more. I mean, at that point, they're practically vulnerable to the damages of yeah. poison, so... All right, so we took the Swamp Province back. We had the dead rise from the graves. Some seemed to march away towards a distant land, but others remained to bring woe to the living. Uh-oh. That, that's because of the, the one of the thrones, uh, uh, the dead thrones. Oh, yeah, it's a big pile of undead there. We might actually win this. Uh, these are pretty weak undead. Oh, we have a crystal sorceress here. She must have been here to do a search for... Yeah. Kind of need those arrows to land. Are those crossbows? Yes. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, crossbows are not very good against undead. Starfire is pretty nice. Yeah. It all helps. Why? It's gonna be 50-50. We need some of those crossbows to land. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't route them. <laughs> I know, because they're undead, exactly. Oh, boy. The heavy infantry is still holding on. Uh oh. Hopefully our crystal sorceress gets away. Yeah, it would be bad to lose it. Oh, she's gonna stay and fight, I think. let herself get surrounded. Ah, damn it. Uh, yeah. Too bad. 
There was too many of them. Yeah, there was a lot of them. Yeah. Killed, it. Killed it, uh, about half of them. Not bad. Should be able to take that easily. And then we got our palisade. Yeah. All right. Finally in the game. Another wall up. Well, we don't have any sights there or anything, so it's not too large of a loss. Uh, we could definitely get a force there. Should be easiest. Oh my god. He's building a lot of units, I'll say that. Yeah. We need, we're going to have to keep beefing this place up, I think. I was hoping we could stop at some point. We got a pretty large army there, though. He's got a lot of units, yeah. but that's all he's got is numbers. Uh, numbers don't always win wars, you know? That's true. Not always. Sometimes, <laughs> but not always. Yeah. <laughs> if you get really lucky and you're like me in the second series with Airmore, you just overwhelm Vanguard with unbelievably endless amounts of undead units and lictors. All right, so we're going to set him to search. He searched here, so we'll bring him to... Can he cross? Yeah, he can cross that water, so we'll bring him to Cerulean Views. Um, this scout, we're trying to head to here. And we want him to attack this, though, right? Yes. So we'll have to... That's uh, yeah, you, you can, yeah, he can do it right away. Can Just he attack... The, Set him to move instead of uh, sneak. You hold hold down control and you. Oh. When you move him. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And make sure he's set to retreat. Yeah. And he's near the back, which he's not. Retreat. Okay. All right, beautiful. He's moving up. Uh, we're done here with the palisade. Yeah. We had. Moved him here to search, but we also wanted to build a lab. Do we want to do the searching first in this province or build the lab first? Um, I'm not sure. Um, well, let's... We, yeah, don't that, have, we don't have a whole lot of... I mean, we got a lot of gold, but not... Not that much. That's because we have already uh, recruited stuff that we have on repeat recruitment, I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we've got the stuff here. Nothing here. Except for that. Let's go ahead. How much is a lab? 500. 500, that's a lot. We also need to in, uh, increase the size of the, the fortress. Why don't we... Uh... Um, how about we... How about we increase the size of the fortress and search and then next turn do the lab? Yeah, sounds good to me. So we'll start building a fortress right away. Then, then the lab will be finished uh, at the same time as the, the yeah. fortress is full side. Yeah, so it'll be all at once. Yeah. That should should start seeing this. He's preaching there. We should start seeing these turn at some point. Boy, we lost these ones too. I don't think we ever had them. Oh, did we not? I thought we had these at one point. No. Um. Okay, let's go ahead and we got to take this back. We we want we wanted to make move this uh, force of hydras up in in good lands too. This force here? No, in the in the new fortress we have uh, five hydras there. Oh holy crap! Oh, four, we had oh, four, four anyway. <laughs> um, let's start. We should start heading towards Nether Wallop, maybe. Yeah, then we can take it on the way. Yeah, we'll take it on the way up. And then we'll we got the three Pegasus here, which we could ship up with this guy. Yeah. 
These guys are all good here. He's searching. He's moving to search down there. Okay, so here we've got these two forces. We could either we could either use these forces to build another army to take the water or we could what was that site that we found? Where was that? Bishop's Droop, right? Yeah. Air gem. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. You think mm. we should use these forces to take the water provinces? We can start taking these ones. Yeah, but we need another uh, manual of water breathing for that. Uh, we can get these guys into position. Let's. We can make another manual of underwater breathing right now. The problem is we have no water gems. Yeah, we'll have to make some. Should we? We could convert some of the. Yeah, but it's... how many do we need? Five. Yeah, yeah we need five, so we need we, ten. We can get two. Perks. We can get two now. Yeah. And then. Hmm. It would cost us. Yeah, we could, we could use. We could use some of the nature and air. Yeah, I think the nature. We have a lot of nature. Um, Let's. If you use six, if you use, um, no, we need, need. Yeah, we need twelve, twelve uh, gems and the four yeah. <laughs> uh, in in order to make a. No, wait a minute. Yes, to make six more. Uh, Astral Perth. Well, we know we need you know, the, two of yeah. these. Yeah. So there's two. We need five. Yeah, we would need a lot. Um, I mean, we could break down some of the air. We're not really using air gems, right? Are yeah. we going to use them at some... I mean, we might use them at some point, but we're not using yeah, them now. But, we could do some we nature because we're getting seven a turn. Yeah. We, we could use the, the, the air gems to make um, uh, what they call the um, those uh, krills that uh, increase research. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, do we want to wait and wait for more astral? We'd have to wait a while though. I think we're only getting one a turn, two. So we'd have to wait what three more turns. I think uh, wait one more turn because we we don't have the forces ready to go into the water anyway. So, okay. so if you move the the hydras to uh, to go on a hall, uh, and then we no we well, no that, that's no we, no that's that's wrong. We need the, to make it this turn. Yes, if we want to go into the water next turn. Yes, yeah, we yeah. have to make it this turn. Yeah, I think I think it's worth it. Okay. Um, so we can start taking these water provinces because we could use the extra yeah. income. We could use the extra income yeah. for more units because he's building a pretty strong force yeah. up there, and I have a feeling he's going to try to push. Yeah. yeah, I think he's going to try to push. Let's break down some of the air. Let's do. Yeah. Let's do two of the air gems. Let's do two of those, and we need two more. Maybe two more nature? Yeah. I mean, we're not going to use... It's not like we're going to use all these up. We're getting seven a turn, so we're... Let's do this. Okay, that gives us our five. Yeah. And... Let's see. Forge magic item. Manual of water breathing. Research. Okay. And have him research. Where is he? What's that put our research at? 105. What do we need for enchantment 4? 97. So we'll have enchantment 4 next turn. Yeah, that's nice. And then we're working towards construction level 5, which will take a bit. Yeah. 
What was at enchantment level four? Was there anything that we wanted at four? Haste. Yeah. Um, we were thinking haste and and, and anti magic also. Anti magic. You can do that with a communion. Yeah, that would be nice. And then after that, we're moving down and we're going for enchantment six for the rigor mortis and relief. All right. So these guys are pretty good now. So I heard a research. All right, let's recruit units. We need a Hydra. Yeah. And probably another Surfing Priest. I think. Uh, yeah. I yeah. agree. We had talked about getting this guy eventually. I don't think we're ready yet. Uh, we can get him in the, the new uh, the, the new fort. Down here. Once, uh, once we have the lab. Yep, so we'll just focus on... We'll wait till we get the lab and we'll do that. And for here, we've already got these guys set, so we're just going to leave that. Yeah. So I guess we just need some cataphracts. That's it. That's all we're getting. We could get one more cataphract if we drop the scout in the... In the we have a fair few scout now. Just get rid of him. Yeah. There. And we've got 13 gold left over. Is there any province we need to put defense in? We lost defense in this, right? So yeah, four is all I'm getting, <clears throat> which is fine. And where do we want to move these guys? Up into Gornahor, right? Uh, yes. Because we're going to give them the water uh, of or the manual of underwater breathing. Yeah. And then, all right, our underwater army. Weight of woe, I guess. Oh, 60 units. Triton and Triton guards. Could be a bit difficult, but I think we can win that too. I'm surprised he's only got seven units there, or, or, or roughly. Yes, he, 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 he don't expect anybody to attack him, I guess. And, and he has a fortress, so he can move uh, Stuff in if somebody tries to. Yeah, it just seems like bordering like yeah, that. I was, yeah. I'm kind of my thought pattern is I wonder if they have a treaty or something. All right, let's move. Let's move this army down. You pretty happy with this setup? Probably the best. It's probably as good as it's gonna get. Yeah. Um, this shouldn't be much of an issue because we know that the they'll break pretty easy to the poison and the fear. Yeah, and they're all using spears. Uh, yeah, which aren't even yeah. effective at all against hydras, hardly. Mm -hmm. Okay, this army here is fine the way it is. They're ready for a battle. Uh, we do got this guy here. I think we sent him here to search, so it's a good thing. We'll, we'll set him to do that. And then we should probably give him some orders too, right? Just in case. Yeah. Have him cast spells and put him oh, somewhere back here. Oh, what's he got for specific spells? Anything that stands out to you? It's regeneration. Yeah, we could do some regeneration. To get some of the Hydra's extra regeneration. Yeah. Anything else? Nah, just let him choose just what he want after that. For the rest of it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There, and he's going to search there, and then if we get attacked, he'll be ready to go. 
I think we've got everything. I'll go ahead and cycle through scouts now. Wardens, tower guards, light infantry, magisters, arcane. Okay. I think we'll just... Okay, so man borders here. All right, I think we'll just leave our scout here. What do you think? Uh, that's a bit risky. If, if he starts to patrol with that force, okay. <laughs> that scout is dead. There's a lot of fortress. He's got a, a couple different palisades and fortresses. Let's move. Let's move towards Satis, see if we can get right here. Yeah. I'll head that way. <clears throat> and then we've got this scout here. Which we can see he's making falconeers. I almost think we should keep... Do you think we should keep this scout here? To watch this? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Just because what he's doing. We'll go ahead. Oh. Huh. Hopefully he will pull uh, some forces north now that... Uh, now that Pangea uh, won? Yeah. yeah. I know. He's completely... Be, be pushing uh, against him. Ooh, he lost this to independence. Yeah, it seems to. Um, yeah, I would imagine that he's going to have to move forces. I, I assume that that's where these extra forces are going to go, is to try to make an army to go north because the Pangea is going to be pushing on him. It's so funny because he has to build this up, but he he's going to he's going to he's going to have to eventually pull yeah. units because if Pangea keeps taking these provinces, he's going to have no choice but to pull units and as soon as he does, we're yeah. going to attack. So he's dug uh, he's dug himself into a pretty good get pretty good hole. Yeah. Uh, one thing we, we must have some units in uh, the capital. We haven't moved those. Have we? In our capital. Yeah, we have some sitting there. You want to start sending them? We've got this guy just sitting, so we can, yeah. he can start carrying units. Uh, start carrying them north. He's our little chauffeur. I don't think he can do... Yeah, so he can just start heading north. Yeah, we can decide how many to send into the water. Yeah, probably, exactly. Probably two hiders again would be enough. I think so too. For these ones, these ones are really yeah. unguarded. All right, we'll take that scout. We'll leave him. We'll take this scout over here. Let's bring him... Oh, interesting. Man's got this province here. But he's not connected. wonder how that happened. Let's go this way. I want to see if who's got this throne. Maybe see if somebody's got these water provinces. Yeah, it's, it's, it's odd that man has this province. We were right about that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of curious what happened there. Okay, what else do we got? We got this scout here. Okay, so now we see Pangea's army moving down. He's got this throne and he's trying. He's not very. You now he's good size, I guess. It's about him right here. Boy, he really yeah. does have to expand into Nucrium's territory, though, if he's going to get a good foothold. I guess we're not too large either, but we're going to start taking water provinces, so we're going to start. We're going to start blowing up kind of quick. Yeah. Well, yeah. With these water provinces, we're gonna have a large income. Yeah, how how, how good is the is the one we took actually? Forty nine. Yeah, it's okay, but not that good. Oh, we need to put a bit of the province defense there too. Oh yeah. Do that right now. Yeah. We... Um, this is the one with the high income, because the kelp forest. Yeah. I don't know if there's any. Yep, there's a kelp forest there. We should be able to get to that and get it. There's one there, but that's way down. But maybe we might get to it. It seems like he's might have stopped expanding. He could be yeah. up here. He could be up here still. It's hard yeah, to say. But but. It, it, it's not going so fast. He he might have uh, have lost too many troops. <laughs> yeah, that's very possible. He's got he. Nobody's got this, which I think is odd. He yeah. he has not taken this throne. Yeah. Oh wait, what's yeah. going on here? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, interesting. Ha ha. So that explains why he's not focusing on the water. Yeah. Him and Alm. Oh, what the heck happened here? 
Hmm. How did I miss this? Okay. What is going on? So, so is uh, Padilla and Ulm fighting too, or what? That's. Well, I think what's happening yeah. is I think Ulm is fighting McLan, uh, and I think he's probably gonna. I mean, he's probably gonna lose. Let's be real. Battle Moose is all right, but I don't know if he's as good as. Uh, yeah, but that, <laughs> that's that. That might be other people fighting in this land too. Huh? Like maybe man? Yeah. And uh, perhaps even the. Uh, I mean, um, look at all the look at these independent. Look at there's so many of them right here. Even this yeah. one is being sieged by independents. Yeah, I guess it's uh, it's 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 those undead, probably some of them that that that, that came up because of the. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. Look, see. Yeah. So a lot of undead coming up and taking people's undefended provinces. Yeah, that's probably why this one's here. M many people probably has only a few points of defense. That's probably why that one. Yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. So these ones as well. And he still hasn't taken this throne, which is super weak throne. He could easily take it. So I'm assuming yeah. the only reason he hasn't taken it is because he's been too preoccupied trying to fight wars. Yeah. And Pangea is using this opportunity to take provinces provinces from yeah. Ulm. <clears throat> he, he he probably uh, has has sneaked uh, some forces in there and took it. Yeah, exactly. And he's got a force right here. I noticed. Yeah. So he, he might be he, ready to push. I mean, you can clearly yeah, see he, the love. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's no alliance happening here. These guys do not like each other, probably because of the last series. But this is this I thought was really interesting. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this. Boy, I'm almost tempted to move the scout here. Yeah, I think we should because it it's, would be really very interesting to see what's going on, what ha what's happening. Yeah, and and also when when the when there's a secret like, like that, nobody can patrol, so the, the scout is not in any danger of being found. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want to get in there. All right, how about this scout? We should, let's see, if he's going to cross, we should move him here, because I think Pangea, yeah. might, Pangea might make a move. Yeah. While Zalm's fighting McLan. I mean, I, that would be the best time to do it. Okay, what do we have this scout here? I think we just had him hanging out. Yeah, we could move him to to provenance to, to see what if uh, Alm take it. If, take it yeah, back. If Alm tries to take it back. Um. Okay. So this she ended up searching here. She didn't find anything. Do we leave her here or do we move her back? Uh, we could move her. Can, can she, well, yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. She can search here. This hasn't been searched at all. Oh, she has some uh, troops with her. She has just a small guard army. I could pull them off. Put them for bodyguards for him. Yeah. Yep. And also, that reminds me, did we give a ring of underwater breathing to somebody? Or do we still have it in our... We still have it. So yeah. we should give that to one of our mages to start that has water, like this guy, at some point. It doesn't have to be now, but at some point. Yeah, so we can search... Uh, so we can search the water provinces. Yeah. Either him... Or him, but I would recommend this guy because he doesn't have the three nature. Yeah, but three nature is, is good for searching. So, do you think that we'll find? <laughs> I mean, we yeah, the, we might find nature underneath the water, right? That's possible. I mean, I know you can, but is it is there any like negative modifiers since they're underwater provinces? No, no. Uh, 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 there's there's actually some good, pretty good nature sites in the water. So, all right, then we'll probably want to send him. So we'll. We can't give it to him now, obviously, but maybe we'll move him back to Gorna Hor for a turn and then move him into one of these because I don't think yeah. Yeah, none of these guys are. Yeah, so we can, then we can start moving him around. We could do whatever these ones first. It doesn't matter, but that that's trivial, but we'll, we'll start sending him around. These guys shouldn't march, right? Well, it doesn't matter. If they march into Collingwood Reach... No, they, they, they don't move. Okay. 
Independence never move. All right, and that's it. That's all of our scouts. Yep, we're leaving those ones there. Oh, this one here. I forgot about this one. Um, probably sent him down because uh, I, I think that's where the forces it's are going to go. Most likely, the uh, Pantier is going to push. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm excited about this now. I want to see where this is going to go. Yeah. All right, so the Winter Pines. Yeah, there was a scout. Okay. Start pushing into Utgard's territory. See if we can catch him doing battle yeah. with somebody. Because we haven't seen him yet. So he is actually bordering yeah. McLan. So they might actually fight. Yeah. Oh, his capital yeah. is right here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, so that's everybody now. I think. Unless we want to move this scout. Uh, let's move him down here, actually. Yeah. See if we catch yeah. his army moving. Okay, we'll keep that there. All right, perfect. So we're good. All right, is there anything yes. else I'm missing? No, I don't think so. All right, we're all set. So then I'm going to go ahead and end it here. With that being said, we want to thank you all for joining us. We hope that you've enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you next time.